This way. Dragon, first in a thousand years. Oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Just give me a minute. Let me think. If you want to die, so be it. Let's see where this goes. A dragon, first in a thousand years. I guess we're lucky that didn't come down on top of us. We'd better push on. I'm sure the others will find another way out.
Looks like the way out's up ahead. Come on. Ah, uh, that doesn't go anywhere. I guess we'd better try this way. Better down here than out there. Just ahead. See her. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. You might be able to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take it by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. for it but to keep moving. This looks like
Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Closest town from here is... My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. So did I. If the damn Stormcloak somehow found one, or woke it up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. Hard to believe it was just a coincidence. The first dragon anyone's seen for centuries attacks just as Ulfric was about to be executed. Or you didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. Right, the leader of the Stormcloaks. They claim to be fighting for Skyrim's freedom, but the war is really all about Ulfric wanting to be High King of Skyrim. A masterstroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months, but he's turned things around for the Empire. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started, but he always seemed to slip through our fingers, like he knew we were coming. This time, the General turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right into our ambush with only a few bodyguards. He surrendered pretty meekly too. So much for his death or glory reputation. I thought we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrodiil, but I guess the General changed his mind. You know the rest. You haven't heard of the Civil War in Skyrim? I guess down in Cyrodiil, people have other things to worry about. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago, as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. He's always used the ban on the worship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. He never succeeded in getting much support. So a few months ago, he murdered the High King. That got the Empire's attention. I guess that wasn't such a big deal elsewhere in the Empire, but here it's caused a lot of resentment. Native son and all that. Even I'll admit it hasn't been the Empire's finest hour. But it wasn't like the Emperor had any choice, did he? If he hadn't signed the peace treaty with the Thalmor, they would have destroyed the Empire. Then where would Skyrim be? That's the pot that Ulfric supporters always conveniently forget about. Unless the Empire stands together, the Thalmor will destroy us all. We'd better keep moving. I feel like that dragon might be up there watching us right now. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. If the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. That dragon isn't still flying around there somewhere. We'd better keep moving. I feel like that dragon might be up there watching us right now.
These are the Gorian stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, and see for yourself. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your pawn. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, all right? I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Happen to you, boy. Shh, Are you in Uncle, some kind please. of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? Is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, Mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. Feindal thinks he can move Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood Trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time.
You may be right. Camilla may see Feindel as little more than a friend, but why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindel. Until next time. Sigrid, we have company. Kadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a skull. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. Yarrow needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. People are rightly stirred up about the damn Talmor being allowed to roam around arresting people. Just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. Until Hadvar, next time. Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it big teeth? Hush, child. Don't pester your cousin. 